Hello and welcome back. <gasps> Leap of faith! You knew it was gonna be there. <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's like this kind of. Oh, that cell phone is gonna come back. Yeah. Uh, basically, um, this temple is fucking scary. But if I, if it's like you remember like where everything is. I don't remember where everything is, but that's just a straight line, so that's yeah. not a. That's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to drop to your face and be happy. Uh, hey, this is a topic we, we completely skimmed over on the previous episode, but we were talking about Chippendale's Rescue Ranger. Oh yeah, true. And yeah, that, that's a show that I, you know, like I said, it's a, it was a big part of my childhood. Yeah. I yeah. loved it much, and, yes. it's, and I still love it a lot. I still like it a lot. Uh, shit. <laughs> you missed. Okay, doing, a, doing that again. But yeah, totally, totally, we, we talked about with this game. Yeah. To, with this game, we talked in an earlier episode how I, honestly, as a... Uh, when I first played this game, I had a little bit of a crush on Saria. Yeah. Which is probably the only time I think ever in a video game where I legit <laughs> felt, felt that way. And but it it shares you know something with Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers in the sense that I totally had a little bit of a crush on Gadget <clears throat> growing growing up. So, do you ever have like a cartoon crush? As a kid. Aww. Yeah? As, just ask me how many. <laughs> <laughs> those are like mm, my everyday life, like day wife dreams. Like, hi Link, how's it going? Uh, I just killed a few guys. Okay. What you doing? Ah, oh, nothing. Just do the dishes. But, like, um, I kind of. I didn't it. like have, like, I didn't have much of this, like, Hey, handsome guy crushes. Like, yep. Okay, Magic Knight Ray Earth, that's like... <laughs> <laughs> we were fighting a, of guys in that series. With, like, with, you, with you and Krista. Yeah, Krista. <laughs> we were like, oh shit, Landon is my... Oh, hell no, bitch, that's mine. We're like, my guy, my guy. We have to like, share some. It's like, eh, I don't like him. <gasps> I get him? Yes, you get him. <laughs> we had like these few shared guys and few were like, mm, that's just mine. <laughs> you can't have it. And if someone was like, that, I, would, I, like that I, I would imagine Landis was pretty high up on your list. Uh, well, Landis was mine and Zagato was Krista because Krista loves every bad guy. <laughs> it's like if Krista liked a character, it's like, mm, I, got, I think he's gonna be evil. You know what? I don't feel confident I'm gonna put on the fucking Hoover shoes. Just hoover around. God, I hate the shoes. And okay. I hate this um, camera, okay. camera view. Yeah. I had a bunch of like really weird... I have to say, oh god, oh god. But do you know what my favorite like uh, crushes were? Yeah. And these were like when I was like six or seven. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they were like Yogi Bear Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> I love every character that ate. I was like, <laughs> best character ever. Oh my eat. god. <laughs> but it was like, Scooby, I love you, you're so fluffy and you're... Well, okay, you're gonna... that makes... On hindsight, that makes sense because your favorite show on Cartoon Network used to be a pop named Scooby-Doo. Yeah, it? that was like, ah, oh, it's so cute and cuddly. Uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> but it was like Scooby. Uh, Scooby is cool. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I like Yogi Bear, but some of the episodes of Yogi Bear I didn't like. Like the very, very hey, early. Hey, ones. what? What are your thought? What did you think about the Scooby Doo? I mean, not Scooby Doo. The Yogi Bear movie. Um, Yogi Bear the movie was. Okay, I have. I liked it. I liked it a lot. I, I, I liked I it. It's, but it's another one of those movies that everyone shits on because you know it was a cartoon character and they made a CG, well, a, the, a CG live action well, movie out of it. Okay, the CG art was good. I liked that. It's fucking. It's, it's it's Dan Aykroyd and Justin Timberlake. Yeah. How could you not love that? Yeah. Like Ju Justin Timberlake was Boo Boo. Yeah. He was perfect. He was. It was well. It was his like dream role. It was, it, from and yeah, childhood. that was the thing. Is it was like his lifelong dream to play Boo Boo. And then, well, well, a lot. There was like some, um, like in the plot. It was the plot wasn't so good. What? The plot of the movie. Well, the plot was the same. I mean, it's it's Yellowstone Park in danger. Yeah. 
Yellowstone Park is the same yeah, but something of the plot was like off the only the only thing a little off for me. Well, the the only thing that was off for me was Ranger Smith. Ranger Smith was made. They made him basically the same as Odie, uh, not Odie. I mean John in the Garfield movie. Yeah. Yeah. They made him less of like this kind of a character you love to hate and more yeah. of like just a generic hero for the movie. Yeah. But I love TJ Miller who was he was Ranger Jones, remember the yeah. ass the asshole who takes over. Yes. <laughs> he was love he was the robo fag. Yeah. But um, <laughs> not his words not mine. <laughs> okay. Because remember he 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 host he was a guest host on Equals 3. Yeah. Yeah, true. I'm TJ Miller. People say I'm a real robo fag. <laughs> yeah, that that I remember. It well, was it was great. Yeah. I loved it. But like okay, the plot wasn't like a big thing to me. It's but, Yogi fucking bear, like Yeah, it's Yogi Bear, but still. Um I think the problem with me was that I waited something a little, You were expecting something more? Maybe a little more. Out of Yogi Bear? Really? I, hey come on, it's Yogi motherfucking bear. It's like I'm smarter than a motherfucking average bear. What do you want? From My me? favorite part of that movie is when when Yogi has his shit just got real moment, oh, and, yeah. and when he goes like, "Boo boo, get my collar." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think when the shit got real, that was like, no, Yogi Bear usually does, doesn't have this shit that's real okay. thing. But I love the thing I love the most about the movie when Boo Boo just snaps on Yogi. I don't remember that part. It, it was like oh, there it is. <sighs> but really, it was like uh, I remember. It's like this very short moment where Yogi is like, oh, nothing's gonna be good anymore. Yeah, yeah. And then Boo Boo is like, I mean, Yogi, stop. <laughs> I, that, that 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 was a great moment, I think, and that's yeah. because, and especially like when the shit gets real moment, it's because af it's after Ranger Smith gets fired, yeah. and Yogi's feeling down and out because he feels because he was responsible for it. Yeah. So he goes into the woods and start and he starts act tries to start acting like a real bear, and, and that's why that's why he didn't have his collar in that scene. Yeah. And that's why he says like boo boo get my collar like that that, that that moment is just yeah excellent I, priceless it is yeah but and the, the only thing is like you know they tried to shoe hip horn in like a romantic interest for ranger smith which you know personally i'm not as anti that a lot of, there's a lot of people who don't like when they give characters who didn't have romantic interests like okay, so the Garfield, like I said, so that what I said about John in, in the Garfield movie, like yeah. that's they made him like a lot less of a loser, yeah. Uh, which I wasn't necessarily cool with, but at the same time, yes, John does have she, he does have a so a so called girlfriend, which is the nurse. Mm. So at least like it was within the universe, whereas yeah. the character that Ranger Smith uh, ends up with. And like he was a lot younger than what Ranger Smith usually is. He was he was like you know in his thirties at the very least. And yeah. and Ranger Smith normally is I th I imagine him being in the forties. He's like the officer M officer older, Dibble, yeah officer Dibble age yeah. yeah. So. Well, I think Officer Dibble is a little older than Ranger Smith. Well, that, that's neither near here nor there because Ranger Smith in the old cartoons, you know, he got in the we you remember the nineties show? Yeah. They, they made him a lot thinner in... Well, he it, got thinner because I think there were... Actually, the, uh, now I might be, yeah. because Ranger Jones was a character in the cartoon. So I'm not wondering if I'm getting like old Ranger Jones, like the Ranger Jones and the Ranger Smith mixed up. Yeah. Because I remember a Ranger Jones was actually... Oh, yeah. Uh, I remember a Ranger Jones actually being a little more like rugged and more like a drill sergeant. Yeah. So... So he was, he was like very unsympathetic. Yeah. But and, and every time Ranger Smith came, he was, he was like, "Oh, my best buddy, you will fall." Oh, fudge. Yeah, spikes and redheads. So okay, gonna spike it. <laughs> yeah. Fly it. You can fly there. Yeah, I have to get that. Can you? I, I'm trying to get it, so I won't wake up the redhead. Okay, failed. <laughs> Failed miserably, and they're. Shh. Just don't do nothing. 
laughing and let it sleep. Can we go up and hover around? Um, I there. Think, yeah, there, there. The, it's a secret. You didn't get it. I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll use the hoover boots. I'm gonna hoover around. Yeah. <laughs> like... What? I don't know, I, I don't know, I think you might have been a bad influence on Ville because on the recent Let's let's Play, he also used the word hoover, <laughs> too. <laughs> it was what? It. I'm bad influence? Yeah. Me? Moi? Yeah, a hoover vine. <laughs> we were talking about hoover vines in Donkey Kong 64. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which I gather you're a little jealous that we did decide to do that with Will. Yeah, because I wanted. To you really like you really like Donkey Kong. 64. I really love that play because like you were, you guys were talking about the things. Shit! Oh shit! Oh, that's just a jar. You throw a bomb in it. It's still fucking scary. <laughs> and this is why I'm editing. I end up playing the rest of the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, playing Ganondorf's castle, that's easy as fuck, but this is like, no. <laughs> Washing my hands, being tidy. Okay, good, good. good. We'll, we'll save up on bombs. Thank way. you. Oh, there's a fiery keys there, though. Oh my god. Boom, shaka laka laka, boom, shaka laka laka. Oh, uh, wrong button. Okay. Aww. Hey, it's a key. Yep, <laughs> I love it. It just flies <laughs> out like that. Oh, we're gonna have to kill the keys. Yeah, the door's it's... locked. The door's locked. Yeah, let's get. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, I know, I know. Kill it. <laughs> oh my oh. god, that was hilarious. Oh yeah, but oh yeah, I also like Heathcliff. Heathcliff. Yeah, and Garfield was awesome. But I now I know what I kind of like. Hated about Yogi Bear. Yep. Okay, the movie is good. I like it. Yep. The plot isn't like the masterpiece of plots, but it's yep. a Yogi Bear movie. Yeah. But the thing I hated, and that was what I was expecting. Yeah. There wasn't the other bears. Cindy. Cindy, like Cindy. Cindy wasn't there. There is a yeah. More... That w that was a bit of a because I really like Cindy. Cindy is awesome. Cindy is like this smart girl who likes this uh, gluttony, uh, bloodness, bloodness <laughs> bear, and tries like, oh honey, you're Jeez. so cute. Yeah. But you're that... so dumb as well. So please stop. <laughs> She's like the smart bear. Ah, uh, Cindy was okay. Uh, go, go, yeah, the thing about... The thing about... That's also funny to me, always, is like how much more popular Garfield has always been uh, as opposed to Heathcliff. Yeah. Because Heathcliff is like energetic and, you know, adventure-y, and Heathcliff is just a fucking slob. I mean, Garfield is just a fucking slob. Yeah. And proud of it. And Heathcliff also, like... Mo Make, I think he makes mo more mess to other people than Garfield. Yeah, he's more of a troublemaker, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I suppose there's something about... Well, Garfield's Lorenzo music. I think yeah. that's a big part of it. He, Lorenzo music was the voice of Garfield in yeah. Garfield and Friends. So I, I think that was a big factor in it. Yeah. Oh, that, that's a creepy Hoover. Yeah, okay. That's like a demon Does, does that stop? I don't know. Maybe yeah, yeah, have... it does. yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. I thought if I... Did Do I have... you have to put the boot iron boots on? <laughs> I might have to. Oh, God. Yeah, I might have to. I'll, I'll put them on now. But I need the... I need the hoover boots for when I have to go into the invisible nook. Yeah, 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 yeah good. It stops. It stops the wind from blowing me away. Uh, is there... There's a wood pole. Okay. Going in. Okay. Dropping down. Ah, uh, wrong button. Not dropping down. Okay, there, there. That, that's what I was looking for. Okay. What? It does seem like you have to get sliced. It's a fireball. Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, 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 the eye, the eye shoots fireballs. Okay, that's kind of creepy. Why? Why you do this to me? I have to wait for it to open, I guess. Ah, I can see shit. Come on. It's not open. Yeah, I know. 
open. Is that a vague, is that a vague door? Maybe. Okay. Oh, now it no. opened. Uh, fuck you. It... No, no, that's a real door. Yeah. But I don't think there's anything in here. Except... Except a couple of... Whatchamacallit. So, a few so-and-sos. Re-deads. Yeah. Totally. So yeah, um... Big cartoon brushes. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, I'm going back here, there. Because, well, I like the, all the eating characters, but I'm like really thinking, is there someone I like, really like, like, this is my guy, I love him, he's like, yep. do, do. I like a, those intense cartoon, like really, like if I, if I think about like what a really intense cartoon crush, like there was, there was definitely Gadget, and also uh, April O'Neil on the original TMNT. But also one really funny one, and you're, well, you, you uh, I'm, I was about to say don't laugh, but you, you're you gonna laugh anyway. Okay. Okay. You ready for this? Snuff Maiden. From the movements. <laughs> Snuff Maiden. Snuff Maiden. Are yes. you fucking serious? Well, because fucking... Uh, I, I, I said, you know, I sympathize with Moomin, Moomin Troll on that show, and she was the girlfriend. And she was pretty ladylike, so that's another thing. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I, can't, that's, that's, I can't stand Snuff, Snuff Maiden. Maiden. <laughs> I, uh, okay, I like some art <laughs> pictures of Snuff Maiden, and I like that she's like... Seriously? You did, you did. Seriously? You didn't feel bad for Snuff Maiden when the magician made her eyes all weird in that episode? <laughs> um, she fucking was like, Oh, I want to be like this beautiful bitch. I mean, she's vain. I, I'm not... She's I'm, like... She's super vain. Yes, I know. No, like, like definitely like, definitely not like today. Like, now... Now for also for other reasons. Like, she wasn't like a bad character or anything in my view. Well, she isn't maybe not a bad character, but maybe she's think a little... of, about what she always says... She's not always she's like, fun. She's only like That's so romantic. And I'm like, oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that's if was that if that was Tuva Janssen's like very uh, very subtle swipe at like he typical heter heterosexual couplings because you know the the creator of the Moomins was um, lesbian. Yeah. And actually, I don't remember what her name is either in but. Uh, the, fin the Finnish name is Tutiki. Tutiki is mm. supposedly, you know, she's the she's, she's the can-do lady, yeah. lady, and she is apparently like the uh, the Moomin interpretation of her uh, of her uh, partner yes. uh, that when she was alive. Yeah. There's another chest here, isn't there? Uh, behind you. I'm watching the so so called map. Like, I can't see there, it. There, 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 there was. There. It's open. This oh. I've already opened this one. Okay, so where's the other one? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering too. Do we have to do something to open it? There it is. Oh, there it is. In the dark corner where I can see it. <laughs> I can't see shit. Yeah, the TV brightness is still an issue. Like, I've cranked it up considerably since we did that Donkey Kong episode. But it's still... Still not good. Still not good. Too bright. <laughs> it's still too bright. That's oh, the jar. Yeah. This is the boat. Oh, no, no, no. The, that's like a quick route here if you're gonna like restart the temple. Yeah, because I'm thinking that we might not get to the boss in this episode. This, so actually doing this is a good idea. So we, yes. we, we can skip here next time. Uh, I do want to get... If we, if we have time, I do want to get the boss key. We gotta do yeah. the ship part, yes. at least. That, because that's gonna take some time. Yeah. I always thought this was really cool. I don't know what it was. It was about, it was something about 3D games and ships in 3D games. And that's like, oh, it's gonna move! That's so awesome! Yeah, because I like this, and I even like the pirate ship in Donkey Kong 64. I like the pirate ship on Banjo-Kazooie. Yeah, there was the, there was one, and also there was in yeah. Super Mario sixty four. Yes, that was that was like the best one in my view. But uh, yeah, I don't like the, I don't especially like the water level in in uh, Donkey Kong sixty four. But I did like the ship part. Yeah, I think I kind of like the ships here because um, okay, in 
uh, Kempele. Yes. There is a shopping market named Zeppelin. And oh, yeah, when yeah, we yeah. were a bit little, there was this fucking awesome... Pirate ship restaurant or what is it like? A... It's like a restaurant. Like It was like a candy ice cream shop. Yeah. Which, which was like made to look like an old moldy pirate ship. And you could go on the deck to eat, and they had these chairs and tables, and it was awesome. And they hanged like this one uh, scuba diver, like oh, <laughs> they, it was like hanging from the ceiling. Yeah. And that that was always so awesome. And like this scene here reminds me of like that ice cream because the ice cream was so awesome there. Don't they? Don't they? Don't they have the pirate ship anymore? No, they they took it away. Many years ago, like oh, 10 man. years Well, ago. I haven't been to Zeppelin uh, yeah. uh, for a long time. But it, they call, it's called the Zeppelin, by the way, because the shopping center, because like in the 50s or something, like a weather balloon dropped down there. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> that sounds like Ross wealthy. But no, 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 it's a... Uh, well, it wasn't actually... It wasn't like a real... It was, wasn't a Zeppelin or a dirigible per se. Yeah. It was actually... What it was, it was a World War II... Uh, actually, this was during World War II. It was one of the Blitz balloons, because they would hang these big balloons over London when the when the Germans would bomb them, and it was yeah. supposed to st stop the bombs from actually hitting the city, yeah. so that they would hit the bombs. Thank you. The ship is sinking. I'm in a ship. Get onto the sea platform. <laughs> there it goes. Okay. Awesome. We got here. Awesome. We got here. So that's perfect for us to end this part yes when we do it next time we're gonna have to do it again yeah. well we'll do that off camera but so, thanks for thanks for joining us again and see you on the next one bye 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 yeah, yeah.